Hey guys, and welcome back to Everything DIY. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own two or three port electronic boost control solenoid. This particular one is going to be going into our Mazda Speed 3. However, the process will work for a lot of other cars as well, and we'll have some of that information listed below. Some of you may be finding in your modification process that you're needing more boost control, and this is definitely going to help you out with that. We've seen some models run upwards of 150 bucks, and we put this together for under 50, so that's pretty sweet and it works just as well. So if you're interested in seeing how we do this, stay tuned. So the tools we're going to be using for this are a Mac 5.4 watt electronic boost control solenoid, Mazda wiring harness, you can buy one specifically for your vehicle, soldering tools, solder, iron, and flux. We have two or three 1 8 inch 90 degree bar pipes, plumber's tape, a heat gun, wire stripper, wire heat shrink wrap, and that's about it. First you're going to want to grab your solenoid wiring harness and wire strippers, and we're going to go ahead and strip these wires. Now these ones are already stripped, so we're going to take the tops off. Next you're going to want to take your heat shrink and put it on either side of the wiring harness. Now that the heat shrink is in place, it's time to solder the wiring harness to the solenoid. Clip, I'm taping down the wires so that I may have an easier time soldering the two connections together. Once the wires are in line, I'm applying a small dab of flux followed by solder to bind the wires together. FYI, polarity does not matter in this process. You do not have to solder specific wires to each other, you just need to separately solder the two wires coming from the solenoid to the harness. Once you're finished, your wires should look something like this. Now it's time to put into place the heat shrink we slipped on earlier. To do this, slide the wrap over the solder, then grab a heat gun and gently apply heat until the wrap fully embraces the wire. When you're finished, tug on the opposite sides of the wire to ensure a strong connection. Once that's finished, it's time to move on to the final step of putting the barbed pipes into place. We're going to grab a small amount of plumber's tape, place it around the barb threading, and screw the barb into place. Be sure not to get any plumber's tape around the end of the barb and be careful not to over tighten these as they only need to be snug. This is what your completed electronic boost control solenoid should look like. We currently have this set up for three port mode, but to run the solenoid in two port mode, simply block the middle port with an appropriate size bolt. Alright guys, so that's about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next one. Bye!